classes in java now classes are like data types when you are defining a new class you are defining a new data type and to use this data type you create objects of that class so you can say like classes are template of an object and objects are instance of a class now the question arises why do you need to define your own data type i will give you a small example you already have many data types in java like integer character string float etc etc like suppose you want to store the height width and depth of a cubical box which data type will you use to store the height width and depth now there is no predefined data type in java where you can store all these three so what you will do you will create your own data type this is a very small example in real world when a pro software is created or a program is created there are many functionalities of the software where you can you have to create your own data type to store different types of information to perform different types of calculations among those methods or um calculations among those data uh, data type members now i'll give you a basic layout of class how class is defined we'll write the key we'll use the keyword class and we'll give the class name and then you will have two things here one is the instance variable and second is the method so for defining an instance variable you need to define its type now here you will use the data types which are already defined type and instance variable 1 similarly type instance variable and etc you can define till n and you will have methods so we also define the type the return type and method name similarly you will define till n and you will close this brace this is the basic structure of a class now why we call this as instance variable suppose if you are creating two different objects of a same class now for those two classes separate instance variable will be allocated to both of them so and both will have a unique and different or same value and it will it will not be interrelated to each other that's why they are known as like for each instance they will have different value and so they are called instance variable now for our example of box we'll create a class for example class box we have given the name as box remember one thing the name of class should always start with a capital letter and the first character cannot be a number now what we require we require to store the width height and depth of the box so we'll define all the three integer height h integer width integer v and integer d f this we have defined our class now how will we create an object for this class so the object of this class will be created as box the name of the class then the name of the object i will say my box equal to the keyword new and again the constructor for this class about the constructor we'll learn constructor in the upcoming videos box the same name as the class and with a parenthesis so 
this is the constructor now let us know about this keyword new what this keyword new will do for all the members of this class it will allocate the in for the instance variables of this class this new keyword will allocate memory suppose this my box for this my box object it will create three blocks of memory one for high h one for w one for d and if you are creating one more uh, object of this class suppose my box 2 it will again create a separate memory it will allocate a separate memory for all the three instance variable so this is which uh, this new keyword does and this constructor is to fill the values now these values can be predefined or when we learn constructor we will come to know that we can also pass the value or some random value will be allocated by the compiler at the end time now what else we know, want to know about this is suppose uh, you, what we do we create a object box b1 equal to new box now what this will do this will for the object v1 it will allocate a memory h w t now suppose we write box b2 equal to b1 now what this second line will do now this second line will not allocate another memory for this object b2 why because we have not given any keyword new here so this b2 will again refer to the same memory which is allocated for b1 so using b1 or b2 we can access the same memory or the same variables so we we'll learn more about classes in the next part of this video